Good day. Thanks for stopping by the Bent Tool Garage. All right, my Kuriak and offset highway pegs came. So let's get to unpacking it and installing it on the Thunderbird. Today I'm going to open up my Kuriakin offset highway pegs. It's model 4436 and it's for inch and a quarter engine guards or bars. Um, with the offset mounts you can position it uh, in four different positions which is handy for uh, adjustments and for different height riders. Just before I get unboxing it here on the back of the box they show the different positions with the offset bracket you can uh, put it far outward from you um, right at the engine bar or closer into where you sit so depending on uh, I guess uh, how tall you are then that's how that's determined I think for me I'm going to be in between so give that a shot so there we have it took the outer box off and that's how it's packaged so the one Howie peg for display and the other one just wrapped in bubble wrap there on the left all right, so just looking at the highway peg, initial impressions, it is pretty beefy, feels heavy. Um, yeah, looks like the quality is pretty decent. And uh, let's get taken apart. First thing is we've got to get that nut off so we can open up the clamp. And then it mounts on the quarter, inch and a quarter highway brackets, higher engine guards. bolt and the lock washer, a clamp, another lock washer, and there's a spacer in between. Just a few considerations before we get installing the highway pegs. Try to get the highway pegs as close to the final position as possible uh, before tightening the clamp. Once the clamp is tightened, it might leave marks on the engine bar, uh, so you don't want to be moving it too far up and down and retightening it uh, otherwise it will leave marks potentially could leave marks um, make sure the spacer is installed correctly um, otherwise could damage the clamp and the foot peg should be installed so that they fold upward and rearward rearward if it's hit uh, by an object or or if you hit an object with on the motorcycle and finally make sure there's uh, clearance for cornering and that there's no interference with any of the controls uh, for example the the gear shift or the or the rear brake um, just make sure that when you're trying to put your feet up on the highway pegs it's in a good position and won't cause any uh, interference with those controls I don't think this will be a very long video because the installation looks pretty simple here's my engine guard here And for me, I think I'm going to be in between. I'll just loosen this up a bit. So I think that'll be my position like that. Right about there. Alright, so it's really pretty simple. I'll play around with the positioning a bit more, get exactly where I want, and then make sure the other side is uh, in the same place. Tighten these up and Give it a try. So as I mentioned about the hair should do it. And there flips up, so it's good. I want it in this position. So before I tighten everything up, I'm gonna need to tighten this Allen key because I won't be able to get to it once I put things in position. I 
way. I might need to get a bit closer to me. Like something like that, I'll do it. Figure using a sock it'll be a little bit easier here. Looking about where I want it. I think that's feeling good. Right about there. Okay. I think maybe just. There, angled to match the pedals. That uh, looks pretty good to me. So my first go around I ended up with the highway pegs in this position here but I found that when I put my right foot up on the peg while I was cruising my heel had a tendency to hit the rear brake. So I had to tweak it a bit more. Um, there's lots of, I know there's four main positions uh, that you can put the, the uh, offset bracket into. But realistically, it's it's infinite because you, you know you loosen up the bolt and you can position the the tilt of the pegs and the and uh, where the pegs are you know inward or outward from you. So lots of uh, options to tweak it and, and get it just right for for your seating seating position on the motorcycle. Thanks again for joining me at the Bentool Garage. I don't get uh, paid or these products aren't sponsored or anything like that. Uh, I'm just purchasing these myself and putting them on my own bike. So if you found it useful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up and uh, thanks for watching.